include that? Kuda Apko Parkade. Traffic to Bunchy with it? The Barba Kade, they can really quiet. When a yard to wear, Bulge, Pinon on a Likha, or Piyakia, Kuda Apko Parkade. Good, good, brother. I'm learning. Okay, next time. You don't need to interpretation. I'm glad to be back again here tonight. میں بہت خوش ہوں کہ میں دوبارہ آپ کے درمیان موجود ہوں اور یہ میرا ایمان ہے بڑی جلالی رات ہوئی آپ خدا سے بہت زیادت کی توقع کرتے ہیں جی آلیہ بجا کے ہاللویہ اور میں مقتصر یہ تعلیمی سیشن ہوں گا آپ کے درمیان اس سے پیشتر میں یہ سکھا ہوں اور ہمیں خدا کو عصمت دینی ہے اس کو مقام دینا ہے اور میں اپنے بھائی پاسٹر خالد ناز کو بھی سلوٹ پیش کرتا ہوں جو پاکستان سے یہاں سپیشل ان پروگرامز کے لیے خدا کے خادم کے لیے آپ خالد کو پاکستان خیلی خیلی Pastor Greg Gill, all the way from Calgary. Calgary, Canada, ke shahar se Pastor Greg Gill, jo humare male leader hai, mein unke liye bhi khuda ka shukar kar raha hu. Thank you, Pastor Greg. He's instrumental in in organizing all these people here tonight. Aur humare he was very instrumental. Aur wo keh rahe hain ke inki badi koshishein hain, inki badi tagadao hai is sare intezam ke liye. And I believe we need to bless Pastor Greg in a special way tonight. I also like to say that this is not a normal conference. Because I've been in ministry many years. And I've never seen six people fly halfway around the world to be in one conference preaching for me. So you are truly blessed tonight. Amen. And also Pastor Azim and Pastor Rashid would like to thank you. I'm Pastor Azim and Pastor Rashid who have also been here to help you. Amen. And all the other pastors as well. And all the other pastors and leaders are here to help you. Thank you. The title of the short message tonight is Get Ready for the Wealth Transfer. And today's topic is that we have to be ready for the wealth transfer. Amen. Praise God. Proverbs 13.22. And this is the verse of the third verse. It says the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Okay, come here. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Just a minute, wait, please. Come here, the verse of the third verse of the third verse. Yes, sir. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. It's written in my book, Aziz. Chapter 30. Proverbs 13, 22. 22, okay. Okay, not... 32, okay, 22, all right. लिखा है नेक आदमी अपने पोतों के लिए मेरास छोड़ता है। So there's a wealth transfer that's about to happen in these last days. और इन आखरी आयाम में जो मेरास है, मालूम दौलत है। And righteousness is one of the keys. और जो चाबी की हसीयत रखने वाली चीज, वो रास्तबाजी है। That will allow God to transfer that wealth. ताकि खुदा उस खजाने को, उस दौलत को मंतकिल करे। Into the right hands. दूसरे हाथों में in the kingdom of God for the purpose of building the kingdom of God preaching the gospel all around the world and getting God's children saved that's what's on God's hearts right now he is the great shepherd and it is his will that none should perish but that all should come to eternal life. Now, hallelujah. Now we need to ask the question: It is God? Is it God's will for His children to prosper? And the answer is yes. Because Psalm 35, 27. Says that God delights in the prosperity of his servants. Praise God, would you all like to see God smile tonight? Yeah. 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 
Would you like to make him happy? Then let him prosper you tonight. Is that, that's, that's what will make him happy. Praise God. I'm going to leave the prayer here for Pastor Alex and, and Pastor Luke coming up. But last night we prayed for healing. And because of time, I'm going to ask them if they can do the prayer. And break any spirit of poverty. And to release Hallelujah. the prosperity of God. And the favor of God. Upon all of his children here tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Also, last thing I'm going to say is that uh, um, sowing and reaping is a kingdom principle which God instituted to release the blessings in our lives. When a farmer goes and buys a field, he doesn't just sit there and look at the field and, and expect that the harvest will come. He has to do his part, his due diligence, planting the seed, and then believing in God to bring the rain and water the seed and produce a great harvest. Praise God. So we're going to believe for you today for a great harvest but I'm just giving you that kingdom key that will unlock the harvest which is get ready to sow a seed according to the harvest that you would like to receive. God says that when we give to God for the purpose of His kingdom you will be blessed 30-fold, 60-fold or 100-fold according to the level of your faith. So no matter what level you're at tonight we're going to be believing with you for a great harvest of a hundredfold in Jesus name and the last thing I'm going to say is when you give to a prophet you receive a prophet's reward and I believe tonight if you, or when you sow your seed I'm going to be the first one. Actually, I want to ask, is there any businessmen here tonight? Raise your hands. Praise God. I want to pray for their businesses. Please stand up quickly. Yes. Anyone in this business? Father, we just release favor. We declare that their business shall grow. Flourish like a palm tree. And we'll surround them. Surround them with favor. Surround them like a shield with favor. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If those businessmen have it in their hearts to, to, to bless a man of God like Pastor Greg tonight, encourage them to get a seed in their hand, which is his hand and bless him. Amen. And that will unlock a huge harvest. I just want to see everyone blessed. And that's why I'm giving you that kingdom principle. I've seen it many times. Some businessmen have given a hundred dollars. And the hundredfold increase came back to them. And the My good friend Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Who has a, a ministry called Wisdom Center in the U.S. 
when he first started his ministry the Lord told him so a $10,000 seed because he was believing for a million dollar business I'm sorry I meant to say a million dollar building for his ministry and both him and his wife heard the same thing the seed they were obedient and that's the obedience is the key that's one million dollar building which they are in today so as I leave you today I just want you to start thinking big because we serve a big God and we're living in a city here which is right next to one of the richest cities in the world and it's an honor and privilege for us to come from Canada to visit Dubai which is well known all over the world which is one of the wealthiest cities in the world and I declare that that wealth is coming upon you now I just feel at this time I'm going to call on Pastor Alex to do the prayer Praise God, we love you all We look forward to seeing you again soon God bless you Hallelujah Praise God Hallelujah I just want to add this one thing Prosperity is not hard to be prosperous is not hard. It is in our mind. Hallelujah. Because someone or some system or our government or our lifestyle told us that money is not for us or we should not be prosperous. Okay. Uh, okay. It is our mind set up. Because already we believe that money is not belongs to us. The only things we believe that we get money because we work. But we are the children of God. Yes, we have to be a very work hard, hard worker. But it's not like that. God bless Abraham. Abraham. Isaac. Isaac. Jacob. Jacob. All his servants. Because I was nothing. Hallelujah. 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 Remember in the, in, in the gospel, Jesus Christ, he fed 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves. So I'm, first I'm going to break it the mentality that Oh, I have to work hard and you know, money comes because I work hard. If you believe that and if you stick with that, you will be prosperous. But if you believe God today, I have only two fish, five bread, or I have only this money in my bank account, and I believe God from tonight, I will increase that money. I just want to give you testimony. I'm very blessed man. I've never been short money. Never been in the short In 2002, I had a voice God told me that to launch a ministry Gospel Fire International Ministry. And then I run to my house and write it on the wall.